He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Therefore, what is the secret place? And why is it called a secret place? The true answer is that the secret place is God. Over and above all, we need to know the various conditions needed to dwell in this secret place of God, because there is no valuable or viable thing out there that doesn't have requirements. The first condition is that we must learn to trust in God. Psalms 91 verse 2 My God, in Him will I trust. If we desire to see God do some amazing things in our life, then we must learn to put our trust in Him. We should not repose confidence in ourselves or our talents, but we should rather trust in Him that created all things. John 15 verse 4 and 5 Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. My friend, my point today is that everything physical that you know, everything that you see, everything that you are conscious of and that you know was created by an invisible spirit being, God Almighty. He spoke it all into existence. My friend, we need God. Whether you like it or not, this world, our society needs God. When we wake up in the morning, we need God. When we go to sleep at night, we need God. The Lord Jesus Christ said, without me you can do nothing. You are not the captain of your life, you are not in control. You need God more than you will ever know. Nothing outside of God can exist. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Without God, you cannot, you cannot do anything. Nothing can live without God. You can't breathe without God. Your heart cannot beat without God. The whole universe cannot exist without. We need the Almighty God. That is from everlasting to everlasting. The remarkable thing about this is when you understand this, when you understand that you cannot do anything without God, you don't turn to a pastor. You don't turn to a religion. You don't turn to a doctor. You don't turn to a psychologist. You turn to Jesus. He is the answer to your question. He is the solution to your problem. He is the shelter in your storm. He is the friend that sticks closer than a brother. He is the breath to your lungs. Jesus, the King of Kings. Jesus, the only begotten Son of our Lord. Jesus, the only way to heaven. Jesus, the Alpha and Omega. Jesus, the soon coming King. Jesus, if you are in trouble, cry out to him. If you need salvation, tell him what you want. The benefits of trusting God is that God will be our refuge and fortress. Psalms 91 verse 2 I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Please carefully notice that God does not say he will provide refuge, but he is the refuge. It is so important for us to know and grasp this. A refuge is a place to rest and recover, but a fortress is a place of protection. Our trust is in God, who made heaven and earth. When you trust in God, he will be our deliverer. Psalms 91 verse 3 Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. If you live the Christian life long enough, then you will know that the world is against you, 
because they are against God. John 15 verse 18 to 19 If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. But for those people who dwell in a close relationship with God Almighty, have nothing to fear, because God will deliver them. When you trust in God, he will cover us. Psalms 91 verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. In other words, just like a mother bird covers her chicks with her wings, so does God tenderly and carefully cover us, so that evildoers can't touch us. Romans 8 verse 35 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? When you trust in God, he will be our shield. Psalms 91 verse 4 His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. God is our defense and armor. Hence, Apostle Paul commanded us to put on the whole armor of God and subsequently wield the sword of truth, which is the word of God. Psalms 91 verse 5 and 6 Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. God wants to communicate to us that he is the one who can take away our fear. All the believers in the Lord Jesus Christ should always remember that God is watching over each of them both day and night, because he never sleeps or slumbers. When you trust in God, he will protect us. Psalms 91 verse 7 A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. There is a faithful saying, The believer is invincible until his or her time is up. God decreed that nothing shall by any means hurt us. Psalms 91 verse 8 and 9 Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. The Bible has a very clear message to all evildoers. Galatians 6 verse 7 Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This implies that if we don't want evil occurrences, we should stop doing evil works. Moreover, it shows us that if we maintain sanctity, our security is sure. When you trust in God, he will not let evil take over you. Psalms 91 verse 10 There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. God is always in total control of everything. When you trust in God, he will use angels to protect us. Psalms 91 verse 11 and 12 For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. One of the verses that we use to learn about guardian angels, the Hebrew word that is translated here as charge, means that God gives angels various jobs, 
commandments and tasks to guard us 